warm round of applause for Lacey Phillips. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There is no place like home. Home is where our comfort is. Home is where the passion that drives us to be the very best us in everyday life and in professional life is. Home is where our innate talents and abilities that we give so freely and genuinely to others every single day lies. Every single one of us in the room today knows our home. That's why we're here. We're educating ourselves. We're getting tools because we know where our home is. Or do we? Maybe you're here today because you're remembering home and you want to get back to that drive. You want to get back to that passion. No matter whether you're there right now and you're living comfortably in your home or you're searching for it, we all remember a time back in the day when we found that home. When we woke up one day and said, wow, if I can do this for the rest of my entire life, I'll die a happy person. We remember that time. Mark remembers it, it was December 2nd. So we all remember that time when we found it. Join me for a moment, pins down, tablets closed, eyes closed, eyes closed. Go back. When did you discover your home? Was it being in the service industry? Perhaps it was being with drama, the drama club. Maybe you're a natural born entrepreneur. Can you see it? Do you remember the feeling? Eyes open. I remember it well. I was young. I was an entertainer almost the time I came out of the womb. My parents would have dinner parties and inevitably there would be a show to go with it. At a very young age, I was probably seven or eight years old, I'm on the farm in northern New Mexico doing what farm girls do. I was playing with animals or building a dam in a ditch or something. And my mom came outside and she said, Lacey, Mr. Brown just called and he's running for county sheriff. He would like for you to be in his commercial. Would you like? And I jumped up before she finished and I said, do I get to sing and do I get to dance? <laughs> and she said, no, I think you're just going to sit on his lap. And I said, fine, I'll be in his silly little commercial. <laughs> when I was in high school, I told my parents when I graduated, I was going to leave New Mexico and go to New York and have my own talk show. My dad laughed. He's a cowboy. He thought that was pretty funny. I did, in fact, go to college, broadcast journalism. I had every intention of leaving New Mexico and going to New York to have my talk show. While I was in college, I got a job as a chairside assistant. Yeah, I was terrible, but I was a great employee. I showed up every single day. So I got promoted to the business office, and I seemed to find my niche in dentistry. I got married to my high school sweetheart, and I had two amazingly beautiful, talented, great children. I got divorced and became a single mom. And one day, my heart called out, and my gut clenched. And I thought to myself, I love this industry. I love the dental office. But what happened to my talk show? I remembered that I was wearing everyday shoes instead of my ruby red slippers. And so I reached out and I found SCN, I found ADMC. I had amazing mentors in the industry, Linda Miles, Catherine Itell, Vanessa and I became friends. I met my soul sister, business partner, best friend, Bonnie Pugh, and we were able to found our own company. I've had the amazing opportunity to speak at the best dental meetings in the world. Yankee Dental, Chicago Midwinter, CDA, Arizona, Thomas P. Hinman. I remembered what home felt like and I put my ruby red slippers back on. Are you living your ruby red life? Do you remember what home feels like? If you aren't, 
I want to have a conversation with you. I'd love to share my story. I'd love to bring a keynote address to your meeting and make sure that every single attendee is living their ruby the red life. Because in fact, there is no place like home. Thank <laughs> you.